Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. I have my friend here, EJ. Hey y'all. We want to do a quick story time about our experience with the NCLEX. Um, we both actually ended up taking the exam twice. <laughs> and so I really want to give a backstory with how we were able to successfully end up passing the NCLEX. And maybe this can be an inspirational story for anyone out there that's getting ready to take the NCLEX or anyone that has failed the NCLEX. So um, I'm so happy to have Ejin here. She um, is a nurse as well, and we're gonna share our story. Once we finished our nursing program, we actually did go to separate nursing schools, but we did do our first two years in undergrad together. Um, we both took two different programs to prepare us for the NCLEX. So do you wanna share what you- But we do the same program. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we just saying we fell together. <laughs> Yeah, okay, y'all getting the raw footage, like, y'all days of each other. <laughs> and filmed in days of each other. Exactly. So <laughs> let's first start with the preparing part. So we both were super nervous to take the exam. Um, so we knew we was going to need some extra help beyond just Kaplan. We were both in the nursing program. Once we finished, everyone pretty much did Kaplan. I'm pretty sure the program is still out there and still popular. But we actually did what was called the Hearst Review. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so do you want to tell them a little bit about our, you know, Yeah, and preparing? I think we did some stuff that was a little bit different. Yeah. So for me, even being in nursing school, I don't think that Kaplan is as beneficial for me because I'm not somebody who can just take test questions all day. That's not how I learned. I didn't learn that in nursing school. I sat there and reviewed and studied content. So why would I just change the whole game now for the test? It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. When I first took the test, I failed because I only used Kaplan. And also kind of just didn't care as much either. And Brittany was there. She was using, <laughs> she was using Kaplan as well. I did actually start out with Kaplan because my nursing program preached that this was the way to prepare for the NCLEX. So that's what I use mainly. And I also had a lot of test anxiety, to be honest. Um, there was a lot of pressure around passing the exam. Um, I didn't want to go through the embarrassment of failing. And also at that time, I had a job offer that was based on me passing the exam. So I think with all of that pressure on um, me feeling like I just have to pass the first time, to be honest, I feel like that contributed to me maybe not being able to pass the first time. So with the Hearst Review, I think it was maybe like a weekend that we had, um, you paid your money and there was an instructor that came in and they literally broke things down in such a simple way to the point where I was like, well, why weren't my professors able to teach <laughs> in this way? Like in, in the nursing program, they always are trying to weed people out and make it so difficult. But when I actually got to the Hearst Review portion, um, they took everything that we learned over that time and made it so simple. So, um, like I said, with me, the first time I failed, um, and so I wasn't able to accept my job offer. And so I went back home, y'all, and I pretty much made it like a job to study for this exam. And mm -hmm. after she failed, she went back home. I went back home. I, you know, after we graduated, and we pretty much lean on one another for emotional um, support, <laughs> you know. I used to go to the library, y'all, and I would be studying literally from nine to five. I would take a little lunch break. I would go over the, um, there was a packet, like a little booklet that yeah. they gave us. Yeah, and was that helpful for you? I had a different packet from Brittany. I had the 2010 version, even though it was years later. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I also, I felt like the Hearst Review was really good. I feel like it really does help you remember. They have like little mnemonics to help you remember yeah. certain sayings. Yeah. I also feel like it's good if you're in nursing school to just use the Hearst Review as well. Because it helps you remember. Like remember things. things, yeah. But other than that, I, we still use Kaplan. Like you still should utilize Kaplan because yeah. you still do need some of those test questions. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't a huge part of our day. So make, like I, I studied from nine to five as well. And I want to say that I would start off with Kaplan because I didn't have any internet or TV in my sister's apartment. I don't think you had anything This either. was a struggle, yeah. <laughs> I was living with a family member at the time and there was no internet. So uh, we kind of went backwards a little bit after we graduated from college. We did not go straight into making a lot of money. It really was a struggle, y'all. Like 
during that time, we didn't know how we were able to pay some of the small bills that we had as far as like cell phone and I had a car note. My cheated. cell phone got turned off. Yeah, so we really went through it. And so I just kind of want to give like the reality of nursing. Sometimes people make it sound so glamorous and they don't talk about when things go wrong as far as like not passing your NCLEX exam. So um, the review questions are good. Like she said, like once you have a good summer, like you've gone over everything whatever program that they have out now for y'all because we graduated years ago so whatever overview you have i would say utilize that and then either use kaplan or whatever um questions that you can just kind of go through and build those um test taking strategies because that's what's really going to help you to be able to pass the NCLEX exam so we both ended up passing the second time now how many questions did you get the first time and how many questions you got the second time of taking NCLEX? i got the minimum amount of questions the first time and i knew i failed and then the <laughs> second time i got the maximum amount of questions and i used the entire time i even went to the bathroom twice <laughs> and then using the maximum amount of time and this little ooh, did you do are we going to talk about that little trick that we did to find out if we actually oh yeah it and wasn't I, the normal trick that's on there okay so she's about. talking about um because you don't know right after taking the exam you don't know if you have passed or failed or not so there was like a little trick that we did to try to see if we um could i think register for the test again was that what mm -hmm. it was so what we did was we waited until the next day and you called your department of health and you said, hey, I need my license number. I don't know it. And that can tell you if you passed or failed. And so when I did it, they told me, oh, wait, let's, let me give you your license number, which means I'm a nurse. Because <laughs> if I failed the test, I wouldn't have a license number. Exactly. So I feel like people don't know about that one. Yeah, it's I, really mean, I think I did a, another one. I'm not, I can't remember, y'all. It was so long ago. But um, my first time taking the exam, I got the max amount. So I think it was around like, 260 yes i got the the max um so i went to the very end of the test you almost passed yeah, no <laughs> well if you well, got the max that means it couldn't decide that means i was kind of do a good kind of do kind, you know i was going back and forth and then the second time i got 75 so Dang, pretty much reversed. i i'm passed with flying colors um and so after that, you know, you get your nursing license, it comes in the mail and then you move on with life and you're able to get a job. <laughs> but um, so I just want to share that and hopefully that encourages anyone out there to know that if you don't pass the first time, that is okay. There's so many people that go through that. I know you had a couple of friends that didn't pass the first time. One of my other best friends, she went through the same thing, but we all ended up passing and we all ended up becoming nurses. <laughs> and I just say that I used Kaplan, I used Terrace, and I also used the Inflex book. Okay. And so I just feel like you, you need to cover, because there might be some things, like I think Curse goes over all the body systems. Kaplan is just going to throw test questions at you. So I did that like for two hours a day. Yeah. But I also went through like things that I felt like Curse wasn't hitting as much. And then also, we didn't have a job, we didn't have any money, yes. we didn't have TV, we literally had nothing, and that matters, because <laughs> one of my friends, it had been about two years, and she still hadn't passed, and mm -hmm. I told her to come, go ahead and come move in with me, quit your job, she did, she had nothing, all she had was my little apartment, the little food that was in my fridge, and her materials to study, and she passed. And yeah, it had been two years. So it's really about dedicating all your time to the NCLEX and just not, it's your, it's your full-time job. Yes. And nobody should be able to disturb you. You shouldn't have a TV or you shouldn't be have access to anything else because you need to pass this test. Yeah, your whole career is based on you passing this NCLEX. Um, I know there was one story that uh, you had told me about where there was a friend that you had that ended up never passing. Was there a friend that you... I have like two friends. Two friends that never end up passing NCLEX. So now in those situations that we're talking about, I think they weren't able to focus on the exam like that. They, you know, started working and things like that. So that's why we're trying to really um, let you guys know that it's important for you to literally dedicate all your time and energy like it is a job to pass this exam. Now, there's some people out there that went to school with me that were able to um, study a little bit and pass with flying colors. We were not those <laughs> And never going to be. Never going to be. This is the 
real, <laughs> like the real, real. Like there's a lot of people I know that didn't pass the first time. So, uh, so yeah, I hope that was encouraging to anybody out there. Um, if y'all have any similar situations, definitely comment below. Tell me about your experience. Let me know if this was helpful. Thank you again for watching my channel and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye. Subscribe and like.